Some of you guys might wonder, where is everybody? Are we alone in the universe? Do aliens really exist or it's all folklore? Here are some facts that aliens do exist. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this video and watch till the end. 1. Water worlds abound in our solar system. Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. And liquid water, it turns out, is fairly common in our local solar system. For example, evidence is mounting that liquid water may flow underneath the surface of Mars. Europa, a moon of Jupiter, appears to have a liquid ocean. So too might the Jovian moons Callisto and Ganymede. Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus, shown here, may be watery. Even Venus might have a bit of liquid water in its atmosphere. With so many stars, alien life is possible. Shostak notes that there is no direct proof for any life beyond Earth, but the universe is home to a lot of stars. And as research over the past decade has shown, perhaps at least 50% of those stars harbor planets. Shostak estimates there are one trillion planets in the Milky Way alone. Surely some of them have undergone what Earth has undergone and developed life, and eventually what we call sentient life, he says. The argument, he notes, is simply one of probability. If we are the only intelligent beings in the galaxy, or for that matter in the universe, then we are truly a miracle, he says. 3. Life Evolved Quickly on Earth Scientists estimate that planet Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. The earliest evidence for life comes from 3.4 billion year old mats of bacteria called stromatolites in Australia. Since even bacteria are biologically complex, scientists think they arose from life forms that got a foothold on Earth even earlier. That suggests it wasn't terribly improbable, the evolution of life, because it happened very quickly. The caveat, of course, is that Earth could have won the evolutionary equivalent of the lottery, and no place else is quite so lucky. 4. Life thrives in extreme environments. Almost everywhere scientists go on Earth, they find life, the cold, dark depths of the oceans, snuggled up to piping hot hydrothermal vents, buried under the Antarctic ice, and in South America's parched Atacama Desert. Life can adapt to really tough conditions and, of course, most of the universe is going to be filled with habitats that are tough, Shostak says. For example, Mars is a harsh environment, but some of the microbes found on Earth, including the one shown here found deep in a mine, could survive beneath the surface of the red planet, he notes. These findings of so-called extremophiles have allowed scientists to scale back their list of requirements for extraterrestrial life. E.T. might be calling from afar. Shostak and his colleagues at the SETI Institute frequently harness some of the world's largest radio telescopes to home in on distant stars for a telltale signal of alien communications. Although their searches have raised a few alarms, the signals have been dismissed as human-caused interference, such as noise from a passing satellite. Contact remains elusive. Undaunted, the scientists keep searching. Meanwhile, a signal detected on August 15, 1977, during a search with Ohio State University's Bigger Observatory, continues to pique interest because it has never been explained. Follow-up experiments to detect it again, however, have failed. 6. Some see evidence that aliens have visited. Somewhere around half the people in the U.S. believe that aliens have already visited us. To back their claims, witnesses have presented snapshots of flying saucers and debris from crash landings. None of the evidence, however, convinces Shostak. Nor does he buy into theories that the world's governments are coordinated and efficient enough to collectively keep what would be the world's biggest secret. That's hard for me to believe, he says. Such doubt does little to stop the tide of tourists coming to places such as Roswell, New Mexico, the site of a purported UFO crash more than 60 years ago. 
This fake alien at a museum is a commonly photographed attraction. 7. Alien Craft or Asteroid Avi Loeb, an impressively credentialed scientist who taught at Harvard and chaired the university's astronomy department, has put forth an interesting, but seemingly far-fetched, hypothesis, the asteroid Dumiramua is actually space debris from an alien structure or a defunct alien spacecraft. Coming from anyone else, this might seem zany. Again, Loeb knows a thing or two about the machinations of space. However, while truthers are soaking the Umiramua theory up, Loeb's colleagues are highly disappointed and upset that he's posited what they're calling an insult to honest scientific inquiry. Thank you all for watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Till next time.